good morning everyone thank you for appreciating and liking my last video today i'm gonna show how to create a bid in the new gem 3.0 version all you need to go to that gem login page you need to click you need to type gem again uh, be not scared for this 404 not fun you can still log in So now log in. So this is again the new version for example i'm taking the case of laptop all you need to type laptop on the search category sorry spelling mistake and you will go to computer networks head for computers laptop click on that now here again uh gem gonna suggest l1 automatically so for now you can give your own product specifications through these parameters given here you can give whatever requirement you have for the product and then you need to compare with three different OEM products so I'm gonna give for example I'm giving 50 as quantity and add to compare so again you can see gem is suggesting again one L1 from its side do not forget to give product specification based upon your requirements because the, again the, the entire filter is going to work upon these specification which you have to provide. So we can select three uh, different OEM for comparison. Uh, we'll take uh, Lenovo, Acer and we'll take Dell. Okay. And we'll go for that. Uh, sorry. We'll go for start comparison. See, uh, all the three products have been compared here, and the gem is again showing its L1 category. So you can easily go for the suggested one, and you can go add to cart and go for direct purchase if you interested in the L1 category. If not, if you have a brand constraint in your mind, and while compa comparing, you can see these. Uh, factors are more enhanced in Dell so you can go for Dell as well you need to do add to cart okay go for proceeds to check out since because uh, this Dell product was not L1 you will not find you will not found uh, direct purchase option in this so uh, you have to go for bid click on bid i think they have some kind of survey issue a new page is gonna open which has the entire iteration for all the bid specification you need to fill so these are the general attributes uh, definitely bid category it's a good it's not a service laptop is a good so it's good good uh, bid validity is 15 days minimum and 90 days maximum in the previous version you the, it was seven days also but in this version, 15 days is minimum and 90 days is maximum. EMT applicable is nothing if your department is uh, demanding any kind of earnest money from the seller, which is coming L1. So you can give yes or no based upon that. I'm giving no here because it's just the trial version which I'm showing you. So I'm giving no. Performance guarantee. Uh, yes, if you want to, you can give. Uh, if not, you can give no. Bid response evaluation method definitely quality and cost based selection. Uh, we not we need not to focus on the cost part. 
if we are dealing in some kind of electronic products we need to make sure the quality is also very important so i'm going for quality and cost page selection this is the new feature which is bid items fitable in this uh, the buyer can split the products between l1 l2 l3 everyone like they can split the bid between l1 l2 l3 so here i'm going to say no because i'm just giving you a trial year of experience uh, since because it's not mandatory you can fill or you, you can even leave it it's up to you and i'm giving it 15 crores 15 crores a turnover payment terms as per gst and if you have any special uh, payment terms you can go for that i'm just going for as per as per gtc sorry additional terms and condition if you have any additional terms and condition you can go for applicable or you can go for not applicable I'm going not applicable in this case. Again, additional uh, terms and conditions like the buyer while creating eBid. Uh, again, applicable, not applicable. I'm going for not applicable. Terms of delivery is free delivery at consignee location. Obviously, who everybody wants everything at their doorstep. So, free delivery at consignee location. Special guarantee warranty condition as per GTC. Uh, products uh, specific. Specific special terms and condition applied. Uh, if you have any kind of special terms and condition, you can give yes. Otherwise, no. Here I'm giving no. Uh, period of AMC, CMC, warranty period. I'm giving one. You can give one, whatever you feel like, one to three years, whatever it is. Uh, because if you're going to increase the warranty period, the cost might increase for the product. So just for demonstration, I'm giving one year, and uh, it's a uh, cost of spare during AMC, DMC, including whatever whatever damage is done it's everything is included in that warranty period so availability like suppose if you have district headquarters or, or remote areas you can have ability or sets, uh, service centers if you want you should give yes if you don't want no i'm just giving no here in all the three uh, options and after filling each and every detail you need to click on save Click on save and then go to next. Okay, now here you can see you have to fill uh, the consignee details as well. So for in this case, consignee is one. If you want to add more, more consignees, you can click on add child items you can add more consignee by clicking on this plus button but in this case i'm just showing you so i just don't need any uh, any consignee any more consignee and do need do do not forget to fill this delivery in days i'll i'll be giving 15 you can give whatever uh, time span you have in your hand you can give whatever you feel like i'm just giving 15 just to show you guys so this is important because most of the people forget to type this so you need to type this you need to give delivery in days and then go to consignee technical bid if you need to change something in this you can uh, you can write whatever you feel like whatever is you have your requirement you can give anything in this see this is this is the one which you have selected and if you want additional features to be enhanced in this you can easily give and this is the commercial bid this is the price uh, which presently have been quoted and the price gonna this is the reference price for example so all the three things have been done and then you need to go to save again uh, information save successfully click on next Oopsie daisy, I think again they have some kind of server issue, but still, I'm just keeping my finger crossed. Yeah, so after clicking next, you will get this page. You can easily download the entire bid specification and attributes and requirements which you have filled before. You just 
click on this PDF section and a PDF constituting every requirement of your grid will be there. So uh, here you can see these are the bid attributes. You can check whatever your field is correct or not. If you have any kind of correction to be made, you can get, get back to previous section and do that correction. And if everything filled by you is uh, not correct, so you can click on submit to submit the final bid. And the moment you'll submit, you'll be flashing to the various sellers across India and they can easily participate in your bid. So here I'm not submitting it because uh, I don't want to. It's just for your uh, understanding, I'm say saying this is the last part. After submitting the bid, the bid is open. So this was the entire process of bid for GEM 3.0 version. I hope you guys found it fruitful enough and for any comments, any suggestion, you can uh, drop a message on my YouTube channel and I shall always be available to guide you. Thank you and have a lovely day.